Monarch butterflies are migrating right now and every year during this time there is a massive debate online of whether or not you should grow tropical milkweed or not in your yard. Let's talk about it. Okay, so the plant we're talking about is Asclepia curasavica, which is the tropical milkweed that is not native to the US. This plant has become super popular because it is a magnet for monarch butterflies that will readily feed on it, reproduce on it, and it's a beautiful plant and it is super easy to grow and propagate in nursery settings. So yeah, sounds like an awesome plant and it is an awesome plant, but it never fails that whenever someone posts a picture of their tropical milkweed at their house or of a store selling it, that someone will immediately jump into the comments and post this article or one of the other simil similar articles about how this should not be planted and how it could hurt the population of monarchs. These articles are a classic example of something getting taken out of context and then completely blown out of proportion. So what those articles are referencing is that in certain areas of the country, tropical milkweed can be a host to a protozoan parasite that is called Ophrocystis electrocera, or OE for short. The other issue that people will point out is they think that by growing tropical milkweeds that are growing out of the natural season of the native milkweeds in your area, you might trick those butterflies into breeding at times when they're not supposed to be breeding and when they should be migrating. So actually both of these assertions are either flat out wrong or misleading. So let's break them down one by one. So first let's talk about the OE parasite and how it can be a host on the tropical milkweed. But if you actually read that article, it says this is only an issue in areas where the tropical milkweed does not freeze. So actually about 90% of the country should be just fine with growing this and not having a problem with that OE parasite. And the other thing to remember is that even if you are in areas where the tropical milkweed doesn't freeze, you can actually just cut it back in the winter time and that'll kill those parasites off and therefore making this a non-issue. Now as for whether or not these tropical milkweeds will trick the monarchs into breeding at times when they're not supposed to, that is actually also false. The theory was that if they were heading south and then all of a sudden found these delicious looking plants, it would trick them into then going in and feeding and laying eggs on these plants instead of migrating to their breeding zones where they were supposed to go. However, there is a research scientist and entomologist from Washington State University named David James who has proven that monarchs are not triggered in this way to breed. What he and other monarch scientists have shown is that it is actually the ratio of daylight to darkness and temperatures that will then cause monarchs to go and migrate instead of staying around and breeding. All of this being said, planting milkweed is always better than not planting milkweed. There are a few places in the southern United States where you might have to watch out for planting tropical milkweed because of these parasites, but for the vast majority of the country, tropical milkweed is going to be no problem and it's actually only going to be beneficial for the monarchs. And this is what makes me so mad about all the people that are just incessantly sharing these articles anytime they see tropical milkweed because you're discouraging people from planting milkweed that would actually be really good food sources for our native monarchs. I mean, you have gardeners who aren't super knowledgeable, but they're excited because they have a beautiful plant and they're seeing monarch caterpillars on there and then they're posting it online and they're basically just crapping all over their accomplishments and they're feeling good about themselves. And I would understand it if it was actually true and if it was actually hurting things, but it's not. But people just keep running with this and keep sharing it, even though it's been disproven by actual monarch scientists. So of course, yes, you should also be planting the native milkweeds to your area and they are great and you should do research about which milkweed are native to your area. But in my opinion, you should also be planting the tropical milkweed because it will open up food sources and it's so readily available that it can help monarchs at times when our native milkweeds are either not there or not growing yet. So if you actually want to help, please stop sharing that article that is discouraging people from planting this plant. And if you see someone sharing that article, kindly mention to them in the comments either this video or the research of David James from Washington State University. So let's help those monarchs out and like and follow for more.